They are the Prime Minister's closest confidants, the key characters in a Downing Street drama that spilled out from behind that famous closed door and opened the government up to the charge. It's more focused on what's going on inside than out. Right now, the plot centres on this man, Lee Kane, Boris Johnson's communications director, who has quit after his proposed appointment as the PM's chief of staff was met with resistance from MPs and, reportedly, Mr Johnson's fiance Carrie Simmons. Then there's Allegra Stratton, former ITV and BBC journalist, appointed to front the government's new televised press briefings, leaving Kane unable, he felt, to do his job. I think the time has come for the Downing Street stables to be mucked out. Tory MPs are unable to hide their fury. I find it quite extraordinary and unacceptable that at a time when we are facing severe crisis in the form of the pandemic, possibly the worst crisis since the war, when we are in the final throes of the negotiations over Brexit and we have a 31st of December deadline, that Downing Street should allow itself to be distracted by internal squabbles of this kind what is your message to him and other uh, concerned MPs? So I can tell you that all of us in government are focused on one thing, which is protecting lives and protecting livelihoods. And we will continue to do that. That is what uh, people watching this press conference, your viewers, will expect the government to do. But will he continue to do his job? Dominic Cummings, Boris Johnson's chief adviser, is a close ally of Lee Kane since their days on the Vote Leave campaign. And some Tory MPs are rather hoping he will leave too. But tonight, he's staying quiet and staying put. And this former adviser, recently sacked by Mr Cummings, believes it'll stay that way for now. Boris Johnson expended a lot of political capital when Dominic Cummings had his controversial visit to Barnard Castle, for example. And it is clear that he was saved. But I think if Dominic Cummings leaves before 2024, I think he probably will, but if he does, it will be at a time of his choosing. There's no doubt about that. You may have never heard of him or care that he's leaving his job, but Lee Kane's departure has exposed deep divisions and distractions around a Prime Minister confronted by an unparalleled peacetime crisis requiring his undivided attention. Daniel Hewitt, News at 10, Westminster.